like and subscribe right now or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Today, there are about 7 billion people on Earth. Even though things are not the best right now from a biological standpoint, we're doing pretty great for a species. Since we first appeared in the jungles of Africa over 200,000 years ago, we've been through a lot and we've overcome a lot. Now, we sit atop the food chain and have successfully bent nature to serve our needs. However, the journey wasn't always this smooth. Man has come close to dying out like the dinosaurs a lot of times in our history. Today on 100M, we'll be going through the 10 times we've been the closest to extinction. During the third instance on this list, we got so decimated that only about 600 Homo sapiens remained. What do you think could have caused that? Let's find out! Number 10. Flu Pandemic Researchers have always said that one of the things most likely to wipe out the human population is disease. How do we know this? Well, if we want to get really macabre about it, diseases are nature's way of cleansing itself. Many mammals and other animals have gone extinct through the effects of disease, and it's difficult to assume that it could be different for human beings. The flu pandemic of 1918 was one of the most deadly pandemics in our history, and it came quite close to decimating the human population so bad that we may have disappeared off the face of the earth. Between 1918 and 1920, a deadly wave of influenza swept through the globe. It infected about a third of the world's population, and it subsequently killed about 59 million people. In fact, some say it killed around 25 million people in its first six months alone. The disease was so deadly that it had a 20% mortality rate. What made this flu even worse was that it took down all kinds of people, whether old, young, healthy, or unhealthy. It took them all down to their graves. Number 9. The Plague of Justinian Yes, we have a long history with plagues. A very, very long history. The Plague of Justinian happened in the year 541 to 542 and remains to this day one of the times humans have come closest to extinction. This pandemic was caused by the bubonic plague and it is said to have killed about half the population of Europe within one year. The plague affected the Byzantine Empire and the Mediterranean seaports, killing about 25 million people in one year. The plague is generally said to be our first actual interaction with the bubonic plague and it was bloody by all standards. The plague left its mark on the world, killing millions of people in the eastern Mediterranean and decimating the city of Constantinople. In fact, it was said to kill an estimated 5,000 people per day in the city. Imagine 5,000 people per day dying of a disease in your city. Thankfully, the disease didn't get past Europe into the Americas, Asia, or the interior of Africa. If that had happened, the death toll would have been much higher than anyone would have expected. Number 8. The Cuban Missile Crisis The Cuban Missile Crisis was a 13-day period where the USA and the USSR officially came the closest to war. It's considered by many as one of the many times humanity got the closest to extinction because of the huge effects a nuclear war would have had on us and the Earth. The crisis came to be because the Soviet Union decided to place nuclear missiles in Cuba in order to deter the US from trying to invade it. It was also a response to the US placing missiles in Turkey. The crisis lasted for 13 days and it was an extremely tense period for everyone. Thankfully, nothing came out of it and the crisis was resolved with both sides coming to an agreement. Number 7. Tunguska Event The Tunguska Event was a massive explosion that occurred near the Podkamanaya Tunguska River, Russia on the morning of June 30th, 1908. The explosion flattened about 80 million trees and it decimated a large expanse of land. So what caused this event? Researchers say that the explosion was a result of an airburst of a stint meteoroid. The meteoroid was said to be about 330 feet wide. The Tunguska event is usually called an impact event, and this is despite the fact that no major crater was ever found near the scene. Researchers say that this is because the meteoroid didn't actually touch the Earth, it just disintegrated at a high altitude. Just imagine if this event had happened over a densely populated area, like in the middle of Europe or America. That would have been a tragedy of remarkable proportions. Number 6. The Collider Event How well do you think the Earth would fare if a black hole was created right on this planet? Not very well. But that's what almost happened when the Large Hadron Collider, the world's biggest experiment, was created. This machine is a 17 mile long tube that consists of 9,000 magnets that smash atomic-ordered in human history. 
The Black Death was exactly the stuff of nightmares for many reasons. One of them, of course, is that it led to doctors wearing masks that made them look like the actual Grim Reaper. Some historians say that the Black Death may have killed up to 200 million people, and that's about four times the death toll of the next most deadly plague. The plague was caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, which is the same bacterium that is responsible for bubonic plagues. The plague most likely originated in Central Asia or East Asia, and it traveled from there through the Silk Road till it reached Europe. It was carried by fleas on black rats and was very soon in all of Europe. The plague killed an estimated 60% of Europe's population at the time, wrecking the entire continent in ways that they couldn't even begin to fathom. In fact, things got so bad that it took the European population 200 years for it to reach the levels it was at when the pandemic started. Thankfully, the plague didn't spread past Europe. If it did, it may have been the end of the human species. Number 4. The Nuclear Close Call the story of Vasily Alexandrovich Arkhipov. It's not every day we can credit the continued existence of the human race to a single human being, but sometimes it happens. Immediately after the end of the Second World War, the Cold War began, and America and the USSR became enemies. However, they couldn't go into direct warfare because both sides had nuclear weapons, and these weapons all but assured the destruction of the human race if they were used in war. So both nations, although quite powerful militarily, avoided direct confrontation. No one wanted to lead to the end of the human race as we know it. But this uneasy truce was uneasy to maintain. Nuclear warfare is basically a question of who can strike hardest first, and no one wants to be caught sleeping during war. One day in October, 11 US Navy destroyers found a Russian submarine underwater near Cuba. Although the waters they were in were international waters, the US Navy started dropping death charges. These explosives were meant to tell the submarine to come up for identification. The USSR submarine had been out of contact with their government for a while, and they had no clue about what was happening. The sailors in the submarine saw the charges from the US Navy, and they were confused. They had no idea why this was happening. One reason to explain why the US Navy was trying to send explosives their way was that the war had broken out between both nations. And if that were true, the reasonable thing would be to attack the US with a nuclear weapon. Thankfully, Vasily Alexandrovich Arkhipov, a sailor, convinced the captain not to fire nuclear weapons on America. And that's the closest we've ever gotten to nuclear war. Whew, thank God for Vasily. Number 3. The Big Chill Around 195,000 years ago, the world changed. And for the worse. The temperature continued to drop steadily, and before long, the world was in a semi-ice age. Glaciers continued to expand, and deserts expanded too. Habitats got destroyed, and most of the world was either too cold or too dry. It was hell for Homo sapiens. Humans in Africa started to split up, as the pockets of land they were inhabitable continued to shrink. This took such a toll on the entire human population that some scientists believe that our population reduced to just about a thousand people. The people who survived the Big Chill did so because they'd settled beside the sea in a place called South Africa. The area they settled in happened to be rich in food and marine resources, so they had enough to sustain themselves. In fact, we've now discovered a cave in this area that shows evidence of human life. The point is that these early Homo sapiens were able to survive the Big Chill because they were able to find the best locations to do so. Now it's time for today's best pick. Our picture today was sent in by a subscriber. Remember, if you come across a picture online with like no its origins, you can send it in to us. Who knows, your picture may even get featured in a future video. Number two, Campanian Inimbrite Eruption. This was a volcanic eruption that happened in the Mediterranean in what is now called Naples. The explosion occurred about 39,000 years ago, and it was one of the worst explosions in human history. The explosion was so huge that scientists say that it is one of the reasons for the reduction of the Neanderthals in Europe. The explosion punched an estimated 300 cubic kilometers of molten rock 70 kilometers up into the stratosphere, along with an estimated 450,000 tons of sulfur dioxide. The ash cloud was carried as far as central Russia, some 2,000 kilometers away. It decimated the Homo sapiens in the area and greatly reduced their number. In fact, Studies have said that the huge quantity of sulfur dioxide released would have created a volcanic winter. Thankfully, there were other Homo sapiens species in Africa and other parts far away from the explosion to continue reproducing. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. 
you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Youngest Toba Explosion For a young explosion, this volcanic eruption was certainly catastrophic. The Great Toba Explosion happened in an area called Sumatra, Indonesia, today. It is said that this explosion caused a volcanic winter for about 10 years and it triggered a 10-year cooling episode. In fact, the explosion was so dangerous to humans that it's said to have caused a bottleneck in the human population. The theory states that after the explosion, the human population on all of the Earth reduced to about 3,000 individuals. Imagine if those 3,000 humans hadn't survived. What would have been our fate? If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. We have lots of great videos like this for you on the channel. Goodbye and stay safe.